Hi y'all, this is So So Blessed. Welcome to The Blessed Place. This is a new angle that I have the camera. Anyways, it's been a while since I've seen you all and a while since you've seen me. How y'all doing? Everybody's blessed. I just stopped by just to say hello to you guys and give you all a little update and to ask you do they ever grow up? Anybody out there is a parent to adult children? My daughter, 20, she'll be 21 in June. Don't tell her I forgot that. Um, she'll be 21 in June, and recently she wasn't feeling so well. She's away at school, and she wasn't feeling so well. And just, um, when was it? maybe Wednesday night yeah today's so Wednesday night she was at the hospital and she had real bad abdominal pains oh gosh she's gonna get me telling all her business but anyway when she was in the hospital and she texted me to let me know that she was in the hospital and you know of course I immediately called her and I talked to her and she was kinda heavily sedated but she was just telling me about she was having real severe um, stomach pains for few days and the doctors had run tests and she was just waiting on test results and I asked her was anybody there with her and she said no you know um, one of her coaches or trainers or someone brought her and dropped her off and her basketball team had a game that night so everybody was at the game and she was missing the game and guys y'all I wanted to find an emergency ticket to go and fly to Cincinnati Ohio to be with my daughter I had to exercise constraint and restraint not to find the first flight to Cincinnati. And I had to tell myself and remind myself that Deidre, she is 20 and just a few months from 21. She is a young lady. She is an adult. This is a part of life. She has to learn to take care of herself. But the other part of me was screaming, but this is my baby. And I just want to know, is it just is it just me that, I don't know, has to learn to let go, has to learn that, you know, hold on a second, right in the middle of my video, my friend, girl, co-worker, hold on a second. Hello? I'm still at home. I'm about to walk out the door. Okay. All right. I may meet y'all there. I'll let you know once I hit the road. Okay. Anyways, you guys. But, <clears throat> like I was saying, I don't want to make this long. I just wanted to stop in and just say that. You know, but she's okay. She called me. She was at the hospital maybe about six hours or so. And she called me and told me that she was released. The doctor says that her um, test results were all good. And, you know, they don't really know what the problem that's causing the severe abdominal pain. But says could it be, could be you know, gallstones. Um, not sure. But, like I say, she's going to get me putting all her business out there. But anyways, um, but she's, she's good. She's okay. Um, thank God. God is good. But, you guys, I was ready to fly out there. You know, because who wants to be in a hospital by themselves? In, a, in an unfamiliar state. In an unfamiliar hospital. You know, and I said, Derek, I, I wish I was there. And she said, Mom, I wish you were here too. So, anyways, but like I said, God is good. She's all good. As a matter of fact, when I called her last night, because this was Wednesday night, she was at the hospital. Thursday night, last night, I called her to check on her, and she said she was in study hall. I'm like, study hall? Did, you know, you get a free pass, you know, from study hall? I was like, boy, education first. 
<laughs> but it's all good. Anyway, y'all be blessed. Let me get out of here. Like my friend told me on the phone just then, you told me 20 minutes ago that you were on the way out the door. But now this time I'm really on the way out the door. Y'all be blessed. Have a wonderful weekend. Have a wonderful Valentine's Day. But don't get caught up in the hype and the commercialism of it. If you and your loved one can't do nothing but go to the park and walk around and enjoy a peanut butter and jelly sandwich together, that that if that is what brings you joy and happiness, that's all that matters. My husband told me, baby, you know money is tight. I don't know what we're going to be able to do for Valentine's. And I say, you know I like to take walks. So, and that was genuine from my heart. We can go to the park and take a walk and enjoy an ice cream cone together. And that is just all good to me. Because in my household, every day is Valentine's Day when it comes to way, the way this man treats me. Alright, y'all be blessed. Love y'all.